Today we have three open source coding models that we are going to pit head to head to head. Which one is best if you want to do coding locally with no internet whatsoever? Let's find out. The three models we're gonna be testing today are DeepSeek Coder V2 Lite, Yi Coder 9B Chat, and Quen 2.5 Coder 7B all about the same size and apparently they're all really good. I have a series of tests that we're gonna put them through. And this video is sponsored by Dell and Nvidia. If you remember a few months ago, they sent me an absolute monster of a PC that includes two RTX A6000 GPUs, 48 gigabytes of VRAM each, and it's all housed within a Dell Precision 5860. This thing is an absolute ripper and I cannot wait to use it. And the fun thing is all three of these models are loaded up at the same time. And obviously not many machines can do that, but luckily I have 96 gigabytes of VRAM to work with. So not only can I load these three models, but we have plenty of extra space to work with. So first we're gonna start with DeepSeek Coder V2. And remember, these are all fantastic coding models that you can plug into things like continue.dev and have tab completion and an AI coding assistant with you completely locally, no internet required. And we're running it all through LM Studio. And if you've watched this channel at all, you know I'm a huge fan of LM Studio. So we're gonna start with something simple, the snake game. Write the game snake in Python. And we can see it is pretty darn fast especially with two other models loaded at the same time. All right, so there we go. That came in at about 30 tokens per second. I'm gonna grab all of this code. It did decide to use the tkinter library, which is unique, and maybe I'll ask it to use Pygame instead, but let's give this a try. All right, so I loaded it up in cursor and let's give it a play. So decent, it definitely loaded, but it's not working as expected. So at least we got it working. Let's try something else. Now let's try Yeecoder 9B. So Ucoder is a smaller model and thus it's running a lot faster. It seems at least, we'll see at the end. All right, so that was 50 tokens per second, definitely faster. And Ucoder decided to use the turtle library. So let's see if it works. Copy, switch over to cursor, replace the code. Let's save it. Let's run it. All right, there we go. This is definitely working better. It's actually working. It doesn't quite line up in terms of the pixels, which is kind of weird, but it works. Let's see what happens if we exit. Okay, nothing. Does it come back? It does come back. All right. And there doesn't seem to be any way to actually fail the game. So it's a little bit better. And last, Quen 2.5 Coder 7B. Pretty incredible that we have a 7 billion parameter coding model to run here. And this is the first one where it's actually using Pygame, so I do have my hopes up here. All right, this one, nearly 70 tokens per second, amazing. So I am going to copy the code. Let's switch back to cursor, paste it in, save it. And let's see what it does. Okay, so no module Pygame, that's fine. Okay, so it loaded up. Here we go. Yeah, okay, this is good. Everything lines up. I like that it named it Snake Game by Quen. Okay, everything looks good. Let's see what happens if we exit. All right, this is definitely the best one so far. Let's just make sure that if the snake goes into itself, it ends. All right, so yep, if it goes back into itself, it definitely fails. So Quen, by far the winner here. And funnily enough, Quen is the smallest of the three. So let's keep testing. Let's try Tetris now. All right, so we're testing Deep Sea Coder V2. Write the game Tetris in Python. Okay, so it is using sys, time, and random. Interesting. Let's see if it's actually gonna work. So it does seem to call Pygame, although it didn't include Pygame at the top. So I think that's gonna be an issue, but we'll see. All right, so it's done outputting. Let's grab the code. Let's place it in cursor. Yep, and it does not have any reference to Pygame. So that is a mistake, but that's an easy fix. Let's just include that here. So that should fix everything else. And let's see if it works. Okay, pretty impressive. It's definitely a bit laggy and it only gave me one piece, so at least it loaded up, not that great though. Next, the coder, let's give it the same prompt. So this one again, using turtle. Yeah, and I can see right here, all three models loaded up is using 22 gigabytes of VRAM. So really not that much compared to what I have. There's not a lot of code here. I'm gonna guess this is not gonna work. So let's find out. Okay, push play and no. Something is happening, but no, this is not working. And yeah, it just froze. 
Okay, so that is a fail. And last, let's see if Quen can do it. All right, using Pi Game once again. I have a good feeling about Quen here. Okay, so definitely lots of code. All right, there we go. Let's see if it works. Let's copy it. Switch back to cursor, paste it in. I don't see any immediate errors. I'm gonna save. Play, here we go. Nope, darn. Okay, so yeah, we got an error right there. Let's see if we can fix the error. Okay, so I just put the error back into the code and now it's saying the error you encountered is because convert shape format function requires an additional parameter called offset. All right, so here's the corrected version of the main function. Okay, so let's grab it and let's see if that fixes it. Let's look for main and I'm gonna replace the code in main, save, play, still not able to do it. So none of these three models is able to create Tetris, but honestly, only a few models are really able to do it. All right, so I'm using Code Wars and I'm gonna give it some coding challenges now. This first one is called Move 10. Move every letter in the provided string forward 10 letters through the alphabet. If it goes past Z, start again at A. Input will be a string with length greater than zero. So very straightforward to understand. Let's see which one of these models gets it right. Once again, we are going to start with Deep Sea Coder V2. So I'm gonna say write a function that solves the following code challenge. Okay, let's see. So def move letters. Here we go, bunch of code and maybe this works, let's see. All right, so I paste it in the code, let's give it an attempt. All right, so test results. So I think maybe it doesn't need to print at the end, let's try it again. So the method needs to be called move 10, so it didn't really tell me that, but let's try. All right, and it passed, very nice, okay. So that one was pretty easy. Let's try the other ones. So now let's try Ucoder, okay, and there we go. Let's copy the code, move 10, attempt, and that's a pass. All right, now let's try Quen 2.5. I have a feeling it's gonna be just fine. Here we go. Yeah, Quen is definitely the fastest by far. And I love that all of this is running locally. All right, so here it is. Let's copy, rename it, move 10, attempt, pass. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, let's give it a harder one. All right, I'm jumping right to the hardest one. One Q, Kai... Q? I'm not sure what that means. All right, so this is going to be a tough one. Let's go ahead and copy the instructions and I'm gonna switch back to Deep Sea Coder and paste. Let's see what it does. So this is the hardest ranked category of test on the Code Wars website, so we'll see. Okay, so we got some code. Import, hopefully we can use that. Let's try, I'm gonna copy it, I'm gonna paste it in. Now I do need to rename it to that. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna remove all the other code and let's attempt. Okay, divisible by N is not defined. Okay, so I just had to remove the sample. Let's just attempt it again. And here we go, anti-cheating checks. Interesting. Okay, test pass, you're asking for trouble. You cannot use RE, sys, or print. Okay, let's tell it not to use this library. All right, so let's try it again. This time it's not gonna use any libraries. Here we go. So surprisingly, the code is actually a lot shorter this time. Let's attempt. All right, anti-cheating checks, great. Should work for any number. Did not work for zero, did not work for one, did not work for 14. Okay, so this is a fail. Pass 166, failed 52, but that is a fail. Let's try the next one, eCoder. So I'm gonna give it a little bit more instruction. I'm just gonna say, Write a method and give it the method name and don't use any external library. Let's see what it does. Very complex and not possible to create a regular expression that matches every binary number. Okay, that's not gonna work. All right, so it basically said it's not possible, but that's not true. So let's paste it in and let's see. All right, so 117 passed. 41 failed. I think this actually did a little bit better. Let's try one last one, the Quen model. All right, Quen, let's see what you got. So it didn't tell me it's not possible, which is good. And here we go. Look at this pattern, oh my goodness. All right, here's the code, let's attempt. 120 passed, 98 failed, oof. Okay, none of them were able to pass this. Maybe it's a little bit too difficult. So I'm gonna give it one more try. I'm gonna give it a three Caillou, which is a little bit more than halfway in terms of the difficulty. So prime streaming PG-13. Create an endless generator that yields prime numbers. The generator must be able to produce a million primes in a few seconds. Okay, all right, so we're gonna start with Deep Sea Coder. I'm gonna give it that prompt. 
plus I'm gonna say, don't use external libraries. Here's the structure of the method. And then I just pasted that in. Let's see what it does. All right, let's see. All right, paste it in and let's attempt it. Okay, taking time, taking time. So it passed six and then it failed. So it did time out. Interesting. So it didn't finish in time, unfortunately. Let's try it with the next model. Okay, ye coder. There it is. Okay, let's copy the code. Come over here. I'm going to paste it in. Attempt. Yeah, I mean, if it's not able to finish in, you know, a handful of seconds, it's just going to time out. So I think that's what's going to happen here. Maybe it's not even possible in Python. I'm not sure. 12 seconds didn't work. Okay, next, Quen 2.5. Same thing. Let's see. Come on, Quinn, let's do it. All right, seems pretty basic. Let's see, copy the code, paste it in, attempt. Nope, doesn't seem like this one's gonna work either. So yeah, the test pass, but it timed out. All right, well, I think that is a fail for all three of them. All right, so I'm gonna give all three one last coding challenge. And let me know what you think. Are these useful? Should I try something more practical? Coding challenges are awkward sometimes, but let's give it a try. So this is called medium of two sorted arrays. Given two sorted arrays, nums one and nums two of size M and N respectively, return the median of the two sorted arrays. And then also the overall runtime complexity should be O log M plus N, let's give it a try. So I'm gonna copy all of these. First, let's start with deep seek coder. All right, so here we go, giving me some code, that's good. Example usage, which I don't need, I just needed to output. So I'm gonna copy the code. Okay, copy the code, there we go. Let's make sure it just aligns and let's run it. Okay, so we got an arguments error and I didn't actually tell the model what the method should look like. So let me try that again. All right, there we go. Let's copy, paste it in and let's play. Let's see what happens. Oh, it worked. Very nice. All right, so Deep Sea Coder worked just fine there. Now let's try another one. All right, so E Coder 9B, let's see. Okay, yep, here we go. All right, less code, copy, paste it in, and let's run it. There we go, again, it worked, amazing. Okay, all three of them might get this one. All right, next, Quen 2.5. Let's see, I have a good feeling. Quen 2.5 is by far the fastest and actually my favorite so far. All right, so we got the code. All right, so pasted the code in, let's run it. All right, there it is, it passed. So all three are really good. I would definitely say Quen was the winner here just in terms of speed and the ability to create the game snake successfully. Let me know what other tests I should give. I'm always not super sure what kind of tests I should give a coding model, but in terms of something that you can run on your computer, which you can, the Quen 2.5 coding model is fantastic. And if you want a beast of a machine that can load up models up to 96 gigabytes into VRAM, definitely check out the Dell Precision 5860. And again, it is powered by two NVIDIA RTX A6000s. They are absolute monsters. I'm so grateful to Dell and NVIDIA for sending me this machine. Thank you to them again for sponsoring this video. And if you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.